Hello, Battletech enthusiasts. We're not going to discuss five, uh, a 5,000 point or battle value um, battle module. What is a battle module? A battle module is a collection of mechs that adds up to that number of points of battle value. And it's a collection of mechs or vehicles that tends to work well together. This means that it's like a it's like an object that you can add up to other battle modules to create arbitrary battle value forces. And you know that your force is going to work well together without having you to try to think about every single combination of events that can happen in, for example, a 12,000 battle value game. You basically take a 12,000 battle value game and you split it up in two battle modules, um, such as an 8,000 battle value, uh, battle value module and a 4,000 battle value module, and then you've got yourself a 12,000 battle value army that works well together. Um, you could try to be clever and try to come up with an army that 12,000 battle value, but what if you have to do 16,000 battle value and you've never played there before? You may find that it doesn't, it's not that easy and you also may not be able to do it. And also, it may not be natural to realize what groups of mechs should work together to do what tasks. So rather, create these proven battle modules, and then you can play it out as it by itself. It should be standalone, such that you can play it out by itself. And once it's proven itself, you repeat that module. Um, perhaps it's a lance, perhaps it's half a lance, um, but it should be something that you can reuse over and over again. So anyway, 5,000 point battle module. Um, here are a couple examples. Some of these are lances, some of these are not lances. For example, you can take two atlases, an urban mech, a stinger, and a warrior helicopter, an H7 brand. That, that has, uh, now I have like what I call a DPS value and an armor value. A DPS value is if every single weapon always hits, and every single weapon is always in range, even though it's theoretically impossible because PPCs will be out of range when machine guns are in range and whatnot, then that's the DPS value, the damage per um, per strategic turn or whatever you want to call it instead of damage per second because every turn is 10 seconds, so it's really damage per 10 seconds, but I call it DPS anyway. Um, armor is then how many points or how many bubbles of armor you have on your mechs and vehicles all put together. Or for infantry, it counts as how many infantry troops you have. So for example, this set of two atlases, an urban mech, a stinger, and a warrior has 176 DPS and 776 armor. So just remember that when you build other battle modules and you can uh, decide which ones are better or worse than others, but this has no, no effect on speed, heat sinks, and those kinds of important critical features. So this is sort of a rough crude metric um, to describe, even though battle value supposedly describes how good a mech is, if battle value was really true, then there would be no difference in what mechs you pick. There should never be any difference in one, any mech that you pick over any other mech. But you know that's not true. For example, the Cyclops is not a great assault mech, therefore its battle value must be too high for what you get. Therefore battle value is not the perfect metric for determining how good your mechs are. But because it's what we got, we'll just have be forced to use it. Okay, the next one, um, next another 5,000 point battle value battle module would be two awesomes, a catapult, and a warrior helicopter. This is not a lance. DPS 126, armor to 680. Another one, a grasshopper, two cataphracts, and a cicada, and a Karnov not as a transport, but as a machine gun gunship. This is specifically to help out against infantry and also to do crit seeking late game. It's kind of sacrificial though, because an enemy mech might just target it and blow it out of the sky pretty quickly, but that's its goal. So DPS 134, armor 648. The next one, a stalker, an awesome, and two Jaeger mechs. 
this is a classic setup. You've got the Stalker and the Awesome as your brawler slash guard, both kind of brawler-ish. DPS is 137, armor is 648. The Jaeger mech stay far in the back and poop AC2, um, late, game ki- uh, late game kills and crits. Okay, then the next one, an Atlas, an Awesome, a quick draw, and this time you're gonna take the Warrior H7A. Normally this is not a great helicopter compared to the compared to the Warrior H7, but this is worth trying out because of its AC5, but it'll tend to get blown out of the sky. DPS is 150, armor 696. And the final one is a set based on vehicles only, because you want to have some battle modules that have vehicles. So we got three LRM carriers, two demolishers, a Warrior H7, that is a standard AC2 version, and one Karnov gunship that is the machine gun version that doesn't carry troops. DPS is 278, armor is 416. Notice how high the DPS is on the LRM boats and how low the armor is. This is just what you get when you go for those LRM boats, but it is a, if it's a, if your general army is a little low on DPS and has plenty of armor, then you would add this battle module to it to pump up its DPS. And so that's how you do it.